Hey guys, this is TD9, and I just wanted to bring out another one of my firearms today. This is the Walther PPK slash S, and it's in 380. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick safety check on this. It's got a single stack magazine. Seven rounds of 380. This pistol is safe to handle. One thing I wanted to note on this pistol as the safety also works as a decocker. So right now it's going to be on safe when the red dot is covered. You see that right there? That's safe. Can't pull the trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disengage the safety and then I'm going to cock it. So that's fire with the red dot. I'm going to cock it back and then if you would like to safely drop the hammer you can just hit the safety and that will work as a decocker lever It's kinda like Sig Sauer in a way just like that here's the trigger pull on the PPK first I'm going to do the double action there's reset single action reset. They actually are both not that bad. I'd probably say the double action was a good seven and a half, eight pounds and the single is probably about four and a half, five pounds. So let's give you a quick look overall at the pistol. You're gonna have the plastic grips on this one, stainless steel, slide, 380 ACP, and that's Walther, it's by Smith & Wesson now. There's your sight radius. And for me, I would say that this pistol has to really have a break-in period. I'm not sure on the older Walthers, I've heard stories that they're a lot better. Um, we had a lot of problems with this one, breaking it in. A lot of double feeding. A lot of jamming. It took about a good 300, 350 rounds to really start functioning uh, where I would really trust it. So, but Other than that, it's been a really good pistol. So these are the rounds that go in it. It's the 380. So basically it's a underpowered 9 millimeters what you got here. Center fire. That's a full metal jacket. And then here's the 380 and jacketed hollow point. field stripping and reassembly of the Walther PPK. So first thing you want to do is drop your magazine. On any gun you always want to make sure there's no round in. Have that cocked back. And I actually haven't field stripped this guy in a little while so let's see if I still got the magic trick. So what I believe is you pull back on the slide and pull up
Aha! See, I did forget something. On the Walther PPK, you actually, I just remembered now, you pull down on your trigger guard, and that will actuate the field stripping mechanism for the slide to come off. So what you want to do is pull that down and then pull that out. There we go. Comes right off. There's your in-house inside housing. I just wanted to show you they have a really nice kind of cool milled on the PPK on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. I really like the look of that. Here's your recoil spring. And it does have an attached barrel. And to reassemble, it's just the exact same thing. So you're going to take it. Put the barrel into position, pull back all the way until there, see that, and then let it slide forward. So then you want to grab your trigger guard and put that back into place, and then check it to make sure you have it correct, and then decock. Drop magazine to release the slide. And there you go. There's the Walther PPK slash S in 380 ACP. These are one of the many guns that James Bond carried in some of his videos. There's a bottom look at it. Really, really nice. Feels really good in the hand, too. Oh, wacko? Oh, wacko?